Hey guys, today we are going to learn about terminated workflow. How to use this terminated workflow with a simple example I am going to explain. So please do watch till the end. Myself Rakesh from Expo channel. So let's get started and start using the terminated workflow. To use terminated workflow, I'll be using a try catch block. Okay. And the try catch block, I am going to use a activity called find element. And this find element activity supposed to find if you click on the indicate on screen in the background I have got the google.com page and this is the element it's supposed to find okay now if it finds the element then it's good if in case in case the element is not found or the page has been closed in such cases it has to catch an exception it will throw an error right this will become timeout error will come if the element is not there in case you go ahead and close this and try to run it it will throw an error saying could not find the element or it will say timeout error so that particular error can be caught in the catch section so we'll go to the catch section and then here i'm going to select the system.exception type and within the exception i will show that what is that error message right i want to show it so let's say i'm using exception dot message okay so this is going to show the exact error message that has appeared because the try block did not work the find element could not has failed in that case it's going to show that error through the exception variable dot message simple now the final activity the finally activity in a try catch block whatever activity you put it here doesn't matter if there was, there was an error or there was not an error still this activity is going to run all the time right this you are aware so what i'm going to do i'm going to say message box i'm simply going to say the final run i'm simply putting a message box so that you know this message box in whatever condition if the element is found in the try block or not the finally block whatever activities that you are going to mention over here this is anyways going to run it first of all we have not yet used the terminate workflow but let me show you how this one is working so let's run it in a debug mode okay so the debug mode has started so in our background we do have the google page so what happened the catch section did not run the try section ran and then it went to the finally section and the the final run hello world it showed let's say you in your project or in your uh, workflow you wanted to state if something is not found if something is not met or some condition is not met right in that area you would like to terminate the entire workflow you don't want to run it something is not met you want to stop it completely you don't want to run any of the activities below it so how to do that okay so to do that i am going to use a simple terminate workflow okay terminate workflow and in the terminate workflow because this exception variable is catching the error i am going to mention the variable over here exception and then a reason you would like to put okay so the reason i can put the google page was closed or not found I am putting my own exception message that is the ability this has got okay you can put your own exception message so at this moment what would happen if I close the Google page now let me close it okay I have closed it so what would happen now in the try block it cannot find this element right so let's run it it cannot find an element so by default it is going to run for about 30 seconds and then look at this it went to try block and is going to wait for 30 seconds it will try to find out if it is there or not there right sometime it may not respond the page is not responding so it will try for 30 seconds find element the moment it does not find it because i have closed it cannot find it so it will go to the catch block after those 30 seconds so let us wait so this flow should be very very clear how it is working the moment it cannot find or the moment it throws any activity in your try block is throwing an error that time the flow will move to catch block now in the catch block what happened this exception message is being shown activity timeout exceeded 
this is the message box which has come you can do a right line activity and then click on ok and then the terminate workflow has executed and the message that we have typed do you remember i have typed the google page was closed or not found this is my message my individual message which i have typed customized message so that has appeared and then what happened the finally block which always runs right i told you in any condition it always runs that did not so whatever the activities below this terminate workflow whatever activities you might have kept all of those is going to stop it is going to terminate the entire workflow that is the use of this terminate workflow getting it there's one more thing additional thing i am going to tell you let's say you do not want to put your own message and you are leaving it blank let's say okay and you are simply going with the exception or you are leaving the exception blank and going with this so what would happen for example if i run it again or debug it again this time i have removed my personal message so what would happen the exception message what is it has right that's going to appear okay now it is waiting for those 30 seconds so this can be this terminate workflow can be utilized anywhere not necessary in a try catch block but anywhere let's say if condition within the if condition if not found terminate workflow anywhere you can use it okay now you i wanted to show you that additional information okay after those 30 seconds okay see it has come to the catch block activity timeout exceeded and look at the terminate workflow message now last time it showed the google page was closed right now what it showed activity timeout exceeded so how it, it has got this particular message this is getting from that exception variable okay now it is going to terminate and the finally section is not going to work so if you have gone through this example i am pretty sure you should have understood the simple use of terminate workflow to conclude terminates the running workflow instance raises the system dot activities dot workflow application dot completed event in the host and reports error information once the workflow is terminated it cannot be resumed so once it's terminated i mean you can resume it from the studio but again the workflow has stopped the complete workflow has stopped okay so thank you so much for watching it guys i'm going to come up with more such interesting contents for you which is going to help you in your ui path learning journey so thank you so much for connecting with expo channel in case you have not subscribed Please do subscribe to our channel and please do visit the video section and the playlist section of our XWOP channel. Thank you guys. You have a great day. We are going to meet in our next video. Take care. Bye-bye.